So, so this is part three, the bonus lesson of your uh, term two, weeks three and four pack. So I've put together my own little version of a, a song by a band called Credence Clearwater's Revival. The song's called Down on the Corner. And what I actually ended up doing was playing all the parts separately, the guitar, oh, I better not give you any clues, but playing all the parts separately, uh, recording to a metronome, and then putting them together on iMovie. So it's fun to watch. I've put it out on um, my band's um, Facebook page and YouTube page. But what I want you guys to get out of it, hopefully enjoy it, have a bit of a laugh at my poor acting in the middle scene, but um, there's a thing called tone color in music, and it's basically why the way instruments and, and certain sounds sound the way they do. Why, um, I guess, it's got to do with frequencies, and, what, and that's what makes things sound the way they do. So if you're playing a trumpet, for instance, what adjectives could you use to describe its its tone colour? So a trumpet's sort of metallic sounding, powerful sounding, brassy sounding, those sorts of things. If you were describing um, perhaps a bell uh, and the tone colour of a bell, again, that would be metallic. It would probably be a, a jingly sound. Um maybe try say if we were doing the tone color of um rhythm six nice and easy instrument it would sound um a bit harsh uh, wooden um a clicky sort of a sound so um for your listening activity and it is in the pack at the end here i'd love for you to watch the clip and write down all the, uh, just in this little spot here, uh, some adjectives that describe the tone color of all the instruments in the clip. And I have written down here, that there is a clue that um, there's five screens, but we're counting the guitars, the same guitar, not the bass guitar. Oh, gave away another answer. Uh, the two acoustic guitars, we're counting that as one. But there is one hidden one that's not actually on there. I did record it, but didn't have space for it on the clip. Anyhow. Enjoy, um, have a look at it, even if you just have a listen. And also, you might want to check out some Creedence Clearwater's revival stuff. Have a listen to some music from, well, I think they would have been around in the 70s, I imagine. Uh, and they're a great band. Anyhow, I'll, I'll see you in the uh, next lesson. Bye for now. Ready, Gray? Ready, Stewie? Good. All right.
Tom there on the drums, Jay. That's right.